सो गाइज आवर नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज ऑनलाइन मशीन लर्निंग एंड इन वॉट काइंड ऑफ सिनारियोज इट इज यूजफुल सो ऑनलाइन मशीन लर्निंग इज अ वेरी फेमस कॉन्सेप्ट इन मशीन लर्निंग एंड यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ सर्टन कंपनीज वॉट दे डू इज वाइल प्रमोटिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट्स दे से दिस स्पेसिफिक लाइन दिस से द मोर यू यूज आर प्रोडक्ट द मोर इंटेलिजेंट इट विल गेट सो इफ यू हैव हर्ड ऑफ दिस लाइन then most likely the company is talking about online machine learning they have integrated the concept of online machine learning into their products okay now i'll explain this entire concept in detail uh, but for that first i will have to discuss what is batch machine learning then i'll discuss what is online machine learning then we'll discuss uh, what are the examples where online machine learning is used and then we'll see the scenarios where you can use online machine learning okay so let's first focus on batch machine learning so batch machine learning is the simplest form of machine learning uh, implementation so in batch machine learning what you do is you you have a machine learning model let's say you have a machine learning model what you do is you have this data you train the entire data on your machine machine learning model okay so to train your machine learning model you are going to use the entire data in one go and once the model is prepared you deploy it on a server you deploy it on a server okay now let's say you want to retrain your model okay there are some changes and now you want you have got new data and you want to uh, retrain it in that case what you will do is you will bring down your software you will bring it offline you will train it again and after retraining you will deploy it back to the server so that is how this entire thing works first you train uh, your model using the entire data and deploy it on the server and once you feel that i have got new batch of data you will bring down your uh, model from the server you will bring it offline and you will train it again and once the training is done you will reupload it to the server so in short the entire training process the training process is offline offline in the sense it is not done on the server okay so you can understand this entire process is a little clumsy and difficult so there is a chance that you can screw up some uh, part of the entire process okay so now let's discuss what is online machine learning so online machine learning is a machine learning technique where you train your models on the server so the training is online and by online i mean on the server okay so it depends online machine learning depends on a concept of incremental machine learning i'll tell you what is incremental machine learning so there are certain algorithms uh, let's say like svm which can be partially trained okay uh, what do you mean by partial training so let's say you have a data set and most of the algorithms they are trained using the entire data but an algorithm like svm has a function called partial fit so if you want you can train your algorithm using a portion of your data let's say you picked out 100 rows from your data and now using this partial fit you can train uh, your machine learning model partially okay so your model state will be m dash from m now if you provide more data it will be m double dash if you provide more data m triple dash and after every iteration 
द मॉडल विल इंप्रूव ओके सो यू प्रोवाइड मिनी बैचेस ऑफ डेटा मिनी बैचेस ऑफ डेटा एंड यू पार्शली ट्रेन योर मॉडल दिस इज कॉल्ड इंक्रीमेंटल लर्निंग नॉट एवरी एल्गोरिदम सपोर्ट्स बट देर आर सर्टन एल्गोरिदम्स लाइक एस पी एम और एस जी डी रिग्रेसर इज वन मोर एल्गोरिदम दे सपोर्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग ओके नाउ द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग इज दैट यू कैन ट्रेन योर डेटा ऑन अ वेरी स्मॉल डेटा राइट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग टेक्निक कैन बी इंप्लीमेंटेड ऑन द गो और ऑन द सर्वर सो वॉट हैपन्स इन ऑनलाइन मशीन लर्निंग इज यू लेट से यू हैव सम डेटा यू हैव सम डेटा यू यूज योर डेटा टू ट्रेन योर मॉडल इनिशियली ओके यू इवेल्युएट दिस मॉडल एंड यू आर नाउ सैटिस्फाइड एंड नाउ यू डिप्लॉय दिस मॉडल टू द सर्वर ओके नाउ ऑन द सर्वर इट कैन एक्ट एज अ वेबसाइट और अ एप so when new data comes since user will use our website or app new data will come on top of this new data our machine learning model performs two task first is prediction which is the primary task of our machine learning model it will do prediction and the second one is using this new data it will train itself using incremental learning so bit by bit this software on the server is becoming more intelligent and that is why companies say this that the more you use our product the more intelligent it will become okay so that's the idea now let's discuss some examples where you can find online machine learning so the first example is chatbots so chatbots they need a lot of data but initially they don't have that data they get the data once they start chatting with their users and that is why you would see that most of the chatbots they are pretty dumb initially but once you start interacting with the chatbot it improves right you can take an example of siri so when siri was launched it was not that powerful not that intelligent but over the years siri has become more and more powerful because of the data that it is getting on the server okay the second example is swift key so swift key is a keyboard that you get on android devices it is a very good keyboard and you would see the more you use swift key the more personalized recommendations you get from it okay so again swift key improves its performance uh, during the usage third example is youtube feed so i have noticed i don't have the proof but youtube uses online machine learning so let's say you are browsing youtube app like these are all the videos you are browsing and let's say you click on this video and you start watching this video you are watching this video and now you have completed the video and once you come back you would see the feed below changes it changes according to the video that you have just watched okay and now again this is an example of online machine learning okay now let's discuss the last point what kind of scenarios are ideal for online machine learning so the first ideal scenario is concept drift so what is concept drift so concept drift is this phenomena where the problem statement of a particular problem changes with time so let's say 
you have built a recommendation system for an e-commerce website like Flipkart. But since it is an e-commerce platform, it will have sales, it will have festivals and the buying preferences of people will change according to these things. If there is a sale, the buying preference would change. If there is a festival, the buying uh, preference will change. If there is a seasonal change, the buying preference would change, right? If it is December in India, you will not purchase, let's say, uh, clothes for summer, right? So you have to recommend uh, woolen clothes. So whenever there is a concept drift, like the concept changes over time, you can implement online machine learning. So based on new data, the performance of the model will automatically adjust to the newer concept. Okay, the second scenario is less costly. So you can easily see that the training that you are doing on your server is incremental. And it basically works on less data. So that is why it is also cost effective. It is cost effective. Okay, because you don't need to bring the entire model down. You have to train it with uh, all the data and then you have to upload it all over again. You don't have to do this entire thing. That is why this entire scenario is less costly. And the third thing is when you need faster training, think of it. A new point is coming. You are doing the prediction and you are also using that point to train your model. So at any given point, you are using just one data point to train your model. So the training is much, much faster in comparison to batch machine learning. And like these are the three scenarios where you would prefer online over batch. Okay, so I hope you got your answer.